Back with you at 908. This is quite frankly a heartbreaking topic. Nothing that anybody enjoys talking about. Hungry children. Nearly 22 million kids in the United States are currently eligible for free or reduced priced school meals. But what happens during the summer months? The state of Oklahoma does have a summer feeding program to combat hunger during summer, but Oklahoma ranks 51st in the country in participation in the summer feeding programs. We are joined now by State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister to talk about this. We're also going to talk about, of course, the budget, teachers leaving the states, teacher pay raises or lack thereof. But I do want to start with this summer feeding initiative. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. Great to be here and a very important topic for kids. It really is. Walk us through how this summer feeding initiative, how it works. Well, these are dollars that are available at the federal level okay. to students in Oklahoma. And Oklahoma is the worst among states in participation. Uh, basically, our federal tax dollars are going to other children in other states and it's time to bring them home. Why is that? Why is Oklahoma at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to not utilizing this program. A lot of this has to do with awareness. The public is not aware. In fact, 61% of our kids are economically disadvantaged, qualifying for free and reduced lunch services during the school year, but only 6.4% are receiving those services throughout the summer months. They're available, they're ready uh, to be served, and we know that in the summer, children grow. Uh, both body and mind need to be ready for back to school in the fall. And you obviously were a teacher, you've been in education for quite some time. How important is it to stay to stay fueled, you know, to not go hungry to the to the learning process? Well, absolutely we know that really strong nutrition in mm -hmm. early childhood particularly is essential. So any student who is, or any child in Oklahoma, 18 and under, does not have to fill out any paperwork. You show up at one of the feeding sites and uh, we also are working with our faith-based community to use some of the public awareness initiative. We have hashtag food for thought uh, to really help knock on some doors, al allow people the opportunity to know that this is available. Sure. Go to our website, there's over 600 sites available, and we're really targeting in this first summer uh, with this strong initiative in the Metroplex area. Uh, next summer, we have to tackle what's even more difficult, and that is rural Oklahoma. With the transportation issues, we're looking at more mobile feeding sites, even food trucks to help with this. Great, okay, and like we said, Oklahoma, 51st in the nation and the resource, resources are there for this. It's just Absolutely. people aren't, maybe aren't aware or they're just not utilizing these resources. Had a couple of viewer questions chime in. Uh, people wanted to know this one from Eddie May and she told me that she used to volunteer at one of these sites, but she says, how can parents be productive and help their kids when they are starving or going hungry too? She also chimed in and told me that she noticed mm -hmm. some of the kids were trying to not steal, but trying to sneak some food also for their hungry parents. Well, what we can do is make certain that those parents know where to go and take their children. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, our priority is students and good nutrition for them over the summer. Uh, but yes, it is a larger problem. We are going sure. to focus on kids first. Sure. Okay, our next question came from Bruce. He says our kids are going hungry. We can't ask them to go hungry because of what he called irresponsible parents. He also said our teachers are going hungry also free lunch program for the teachers what do you say to that should teachers be able to eat for free as well well we know that many of our teachers particularly those uh, with children and dependents or a two-parent household uh, that are both teaching and just starting out can qualify for uh, free and reduced status and economically disadvantaged. This is shameful. Uh, Oklahoma must be competitive with teacher compensation. Uh, this is another statistic and list that we don't want to find ourselves at the bottom, yet with the food nutrition program, that's a list and that's a statistic we can do something about right now and it doesn't take new revenue or a uh, votes in the legislature. We can do something about that. We're gonna draw down millions of dollars available and yes, Yes, teachers should never qualify and that is something that is a reality for many of the Oklahoma teachers that teach our children which is which is heartbreaking and we know teacher pay raises were not passed in this recent budget that's something we're going to talk about in this next segment but quickly because this is so important if there's someone watching at home right now who has a hungry child or if there is a neighbor who who thinks you know I see those kids next door it might not be my business how would you recommend someone go about that? 
How well, there's, they get help? Yes, there's a very easy way to find the um, area nearest you that has a feeding site. And often it will be partnerships with our libraries, with um, our uh, Boys and Girls Clubs, mm -hmm. YMCAs. Uh, there are numerous um, schools that are participating in this as well. Just go to the State Department of Education website and we have a link. You can actually text and it will give you the nearest locations. And is it open all summer long? All summer long, you don't have to fill out any paperwork. There is no actual no qualifying. You just simply show up you and show up we're and ready say, to give a hot meal at breakfast or lunch. Breakfast or lunch, really, really important. Something you often don't think about, but a lot of times those school lunches or those school breakfasts, that's the only meal those kiddos get. Good nutrition is the foundation for learning. Okay, really, really important. So go to that website. We can also post a link on our KOCO mobile app too, but if you are a neighbor or if you're a babysitter and, and you see maybe a, a child going hungry, it's free. The resources are there. We just need to help spread the word. Maybe post this on your Facebook page too to, to help get the word out. State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister will be sticking around with us for another segment. We're going to talk about, unfortunately, our teachers leaving. They're going to different states for better pay raises. What can we do right now to change that?